Okay, good. So I'll tell you how to log in. Okay, see once once you once you got the uh, remote server access, this remote server access will be like this. Okay. So what you have to do, you have some SAP log on here. This is where SAP log on. Okay. Double click on your SAP log on, and then double click here, and then give username and password. Username and password to your email ID. Okay. Just username and password. The client will be hundred only. Okay. Once you given the username and password, you will get one screen. This empty screen you will get. Okay, this is your SAP screen. Okay, in this SAP screen only you are going to play with it. This SAP screen is open to all, not only for ABAP. Open to all. SD, MMO, FICO, every person can use this SAP screen. In this SAP screen, our part is T code. So we have. N number of T codes for each and every consultant. For ABAP work, we have lots of T code. For MM work, we have lots of T code. For SD work, we have lots of T code. So you have to concentrate only on your own T code. That's that's for technical. Okay. So to write the coding, you have to go to the T code SE38. This is called a T code screen. The small box is termed as T code screen. Okay. Just click on this T code screen. That's all. So I'm going to create one new program. See, uh, I can say the entire SAP is run in ABAP coding only. Backend we have ABAP coding only. Okay, you all you all seen the SAP labs in Bangalore, right? So they are the person who is uh, working for this SAP. Okay, they will be writing lots of ABAP program and then they created the screens and given to us. So we as as a developer we have able to create only Z. Starting with Z or Y only because this is called custom designed code. Other codings, the SAP lab person did right. Then the SAP scan. They will have other things. A to A B C D. Everything will come under that part. So as a developer, we have to write the code only starting with Z or Y. Okay. So I'm going to create one program. Okay. Demo. Okay, so you have to give your program, and then you have three options: create, display, change. Create is nothing but to create your program. Change is nothing but to change the program, existing program, and display is nothing but you have to see the data in the program. That's it. Okay, but it is a new program. I was not able to change and delete it because it is a new program. I have to create it. After creating only, I can able to change and display. Okay, so create it. Here you have to give some title. So I'm just giving some title. And here we have lots of option. Okay, <laughs> I will tell that later. Executable program is nothing but which is used to execute and show you the output. Execute and get you the output. That's all. As of now, save it as a local object. You have an option called package. What I will tell what is the purpose of package later. As of now, I'm saying it is a local object. So you will get one empty screen. Okay, that's all. So here only you're going to write your program. Okay, now I want to write something. Okay, so as I told you, it's a normal. It's look look like English language only. Okay, so I'm going to write my name. So how I can tell in English? Please write your name or please write my name. So instead of telling that in technical how we are doing it, right? My name. That's all. ABAP will understand. See, ABAP code is nothing but you are interacting with the SAP in coding language. I am interacting with you in English, and you have to inter interacting with me in English. That is an intermediate. Similarly, if you want to interact with SAP. You have to write the language in ABAP that is an English with SQL. That's it. I can able to tell. Okay. So after writing any program, you have to go for thumb roll, save, save. This is called save icon. Okay. After that, syntax check. Syntax check is nothing but is there any issue in the coding? It will tell you. See at the bottom, I can say no syntax error found. If I redo, if I remove this full stop and checking the program. It will tell period missing, which means full stop missing. So I have to put full stop. Without rectifying this issue, you are not able to execute your program. 
syntax check and then if you are good to go then activate near to syntax check you activate you should always be active you should always be active and then execute so i got my output my name that's it okay now i want to write today's date so we have option called sci datum sci datum is nothing but it will give you the it's a system variable we call them as system variable so if you want to give something in the single quotes it's in green color then it is termed as user input whatever you want you can give okay this one is a system variable just save syntax check and activate and execute you will get what is the today's date it's 8th june 2024 so likewise you will get 